Hi guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. I am currently scrambling up some eggs for my lunch. This will be the first meal that I eat today, if you don't count um, coffee as a meal. This will be a what I eat in a day vlog, and as I promised last time, I am going to be tracking everything, showing you the numbers, and showing you what I eat. So let's get started. highly recommend recording what you are planning for your meal before you eat it. That way, like what happened to me, the cheese brought the calories up a little too, a little higher than what I wanted and it wasn't a big deal. I just took the cheese out, didn't eat that, and then readjusted what I'm having and it went, that, it went down to the calories that I'm planning on for lunch. Tracking is a very good way to understand where you are during the day. Tracking ahead of eating is a very good way to make it so that you don't get that that guilty feeling or surprise at the end of the day. Oh, my eggs are burning. So how I cook my scrambled eggs, you can't really see it, but I cook them on a really low heat and just stir until they become scrambled eggs. I don't add milk or anything like that to my scrambled eggs. So I just stir and stir until they're finally at a, a consistency that I like. I'm sorry, I know that, that light is awful. Um, I don't know if I've said this before, but we still have eight months until we're, we're in a, a house where there's things like natural lighting. So that would be very nice, but you still have eight months to work with the lighting that we have here. <laughs> Yum. I mean, it's very easy and you can't deny that that looks delicious. So that'll be my breakfast for today. Scrambled eggs, a little bit of uh, pork loin, sour cream. I put butter in the pan before I made the eggs so I you know put that on my tracker as well. It's very simple. Very good. So this is what I've eaten so far for what I'm calling breakfast which is just coffee and then lunch. I've also pre-recorded my snacks which is just gonna be peanut butter. I've allotted for about six tablespoons throughout the day. You might think that's a lot, if you don't. <laughs> so here's everything that I've eaten so far. Very happy with it. I usually, um, I think I am usually in between 2,500 to 3,000 calories. I, I'm trying to dial that back a little bit. According to this thing, I burn about 2,500 per day. So I'd like to have my calories be around 2,000 to 2,300. That would make me happy. And I do need to tone up and kind of lose a little bit of the puff <laughs> that's started to accumulate. So I've reduced, trying to reduce my calories by a little bit. My workout for today, Kind of makes me a little bit nervous. I have planned um, to go outside. It's like 75 degrees here. I'm trying to take advantage of this short term, nice warm weather by taking my workout outside. So I'm gonna take our 30 pound dumbbells outside and just do lunges up and down the sidewalk and then I'll probably do some weighted squats. Maybe burpees if I get up the nerve to do them. Uh, it's nerve wracking working out outside like that where you feel like people are thinking you're weird and probably judging. But 
fact is, if you're working out outside, you're making progress and you're doing positive things in your life. So if people are judging that, screw you. At least I'm trying, you know? What have you done all day? Sat on your couch, ate ice cream? Mm-hmm. That's mean. <laughs> but it's true. Okay. So, I'm looking out the window. I'm about to go do my workout outside. And what I was hoping would not happen is happening where my neighbor is outside in his garage and he's just talking to the groundskeeper who's supposed to be keeping the grounds. He doesn't seem to do much more than ride in his golf cart and smoke and talk to this guy who's outside in his garage. Um, it, it really wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't that neighbor because this neighbor, he's probably around my age, but he he doesn't smile when you walk by, he doesn't wave when he, you walk by, and he doesn't not make eye contact <laughs> when you walk by. So if, you know, I'm taking the dogs on a walk or something, and I walk by his garage, he doesn't just, you know, keep working and doing whatever he was doing. He looks up, and he looks right at you, but he just, like watches you and he doesn't smile he doesn't wave and he just watches <laughs> and it's very awkward um i've never once spoken to him and yet i feel like he doesn't like me <laughs> but i'm still gonna do it uh i know that when it when you get to things like this in life where it's kind of a challenge backing away from it is not the right answer so i'm gonna go do it i <laughs> just why did it have to be that neighbor that's outside? The mean one, the grumpy one. Okay, so halfway through my workout, he finally went home. I really like this. Um, I've been doing a ton of lunges, a ton of squats, some shoulder presses since I have 30s, and then I ran around the apartment complex twice, which is about a mile, and then I just curled 30s <laughs> I can only do that once um, but I don't have to like throw it or anything like that so that's kind of a milestone I'm taking a breather right now and then I'll go back to lunges it is sprinkling not raining yet but it is going to be raining soon so I need to get this over and done with before I am just plastered with rain because it's supposed to rain pretty hard here shortly so I'm gonna go finish my workout but yeah, this is not so bad. I mean, clearly like, not a bad view. Workout's done. Dogs have been walked. Running is done. I now can sit. Are you hungry?
this <clears throat> is gonna be yummy. One of my most favorite things to eat is steak quesadillas. I love them. They're a good way to use your leftover steak. That's Jagger. Here is the nutrition information for my supper. Um, so I will put every little piece of information that I can um, right here so that you can see all of the ins and outs of my day, all of the macros, the breakdown, the micro micronutrients, macro, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just can't talk, but I will put it all here. Now, I do have about 100 or so calories left for the day. This is probably all I'll eat. Um, so I say being under by 100 or over by 100, that's, that's a pretty marginal difference. The numbers that are on the app aren't going to be 100% what you're eating. It's just not going to be. So if there's a little bit of a, a marginal difference, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Okay, I am going to finish this up and start working on a couple things I need to get finished up for business. I hope you all have had an absolutely wonderful day today. We're going into the weekend, so I hope this weekend is fabulous and relaxing if that's what you want it to be. And I will catch you guys next time.